Good morning, y'all. It's Monday, November 1st. I woke up at 5.15 this morning and um, it's now two hours later and I'm about to go to work. I decided that I want to take control of my life again and a big part of that is going to be a big part of that is going to be waking up on time, not hitting the snooze button, doing my meditation, doing my yoga, journaling. Um, so that's what I did this morning. Feels good, but I'm so tired. Like, I didn't feel like vlogging at all, honestly. So I'll get some clips later in the week, but now I gotta go to work. It's 8.05 p.m. and today's been a long day. I haven't, I came home early because I haven't felt good and I just feel like achy and my stomach, yeah, there's just a lot, a headache all day. I had to pet sit for my mom. I still am pet sitting all this week and a little bit of next week, so I had to go there first, but came home early, took a nap, had, oh, me and Sebastian went on a walk and then I had a client call and I just made dinner. Now I need to shower. Um, Sebastian is here actually and he's about to pee so now I can't vlog. <laughs> he's been here for a couple of weeks actually because his house is under construction, would you say? And he can't like the noise, whatever. So he's been here, I go to work and he just stays here. He cleans for me, he did all the dishes. He's folding some blankets right now. Shit that I wouldn't do right now, I'll tell you that much. He's a great housewife. Did you do the laundry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully today, it's November 1st and I really wanted to like start the month off right, but it just isn't going to plan. I don't feel well, so I just gotta like give myself grace, I guess, because I tried, I woke up early. I didn't get to work out, I didn't feel good, so it's okay. All right, it is 6.40 p.m. and I just came up from the gym. I didn't really work out. I just did 20 minutes walking on the treadmill at like a speed of 2.5. Y'all, honestly, I don't feel good. And um, it's just, yeah, I'm at that point again where I like feel like this is taking things away from me, <laughs> which is um, frustrating. And I was feeling okay for a couple of weeks, honestly better. I thought the acupuncture was working and now like really this week, this weekend, I don't know what it was, but I just don't feel good. And I'm feeling everything like I'm getting the acid reflux again. I have sores in my mouth. Um, my every bone in my body is like hurting. Primarily my ankles, my calves, like my shins, I guess, and my knees, and then my fingers. I just feel very uncomfortable. My wound hurts really, really bad. It's getting worse. It bleeds constantly, not constantly, but on a daily basis now, which it wasn't doing before. It's still draining, draining more, and it just hurts. Like it, I was walking just now and it hurt. It hurts to sit down. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> I don't even know if I've talked to, like I, decided to go i will be going on humera however it was denied by my insurance the first time around it was also denied after they my doctor submitted an appeal and i found this out yesterday i spoke with them yesterday and asked like they gave me the reasonings why they keep denying it and the reasoning like i based off of that reasoning i am qualified for humera um, so they submitted it for a review and like highlighted the point that I have like they I have a fistula and so I Don't know. I'm gonna call them tomorrow to see but then like my holistic doctor yesterday I got a call and they canceled my appointment for Monday But then I was talking to her and like hoping that I could just get prescribed the low-dose naltrexone um, before my appointment or if I should just wait till Monday and then they canceled it until December 22nd But luckily they called me back today. Actually, she called me from her personal cell phone 
like my doctor and was offering to talk to me but I had a client call so I didn't talk to her about everything um, but then my appointment got moved to my, uh, Friday actually so a few days from now which is good I didn't want to pay another like 200 something dollars to go talk to her but whatever I need something at this point because it is taking over my body and I just can feel it I feel awful I went down to try and work out and I just can't my stomach hurts everything hurts and I, I don't know, I just feel like I'm making this shit up. Like I hate to complain about it because it, it just feels like I'm, I'm just saying it. It doesn't feel real because nobody can see it. And um, I know that's maybe stupid or I don't know. I just, I, I have to hide it a lot. Like at work I was okay. I'm okay for like the first hour or so. But like after some time I get really... Uh, it's been the last couple days really, but I get like really achy and started getting dizzy um, and I just like have to get distracted and um, not think about it. I don't know. I don't want to like say anything too much because I just, I hate being that person that's like always complaining about shit. And I also, I've been listening to the book, The Power um, by Rhonda Burns. It's like the follow up to The Secret and I really like it. I got it on Audible for free because I had like the trial and I've been trying to focus on what they talk about in that book, like gratitude and love and yeah, just trying to focus on what I want, not what I don't want. And it's just really hard. It's, I'm trying to be more positive. This, this month I wanted to like get my shit back together, get my life back. That's what I was gonna like title this vlog, like getting my life back. But it's so hard to keep your spirits high, your vibration high when you feel like shit. Like my body, is just it hurts like I don't I don't know any other way to describe it but like I am not comfortable right now I am in quite a bit of pain and it's just like all day now and then on top of that it doesn't help when I have to make all these phone calls and my shit gets rejected and I'm, I'm literally on no medication for this and I'm just imagining this shit getting worse because it feels like it is and nobody like cares enough you know because uh, of course they don't because it's not their body it's not what they're, what they're experiencing but like I don't know, I just want some something at this point. And um, yeah, so I'm feeling it. One highlight of right now. Well, at least I did some walking. Oh my God. Hi Layla, thanks so much for checking out our calendar of good. Hope you love it. We also just signed up for, okay. So this is from Free Period Press, the owner herself, Flora. L-O-R-A, I'm gonna link her down below, her the Instagram, and also this website, because she had emailed me a couple of times and I didn't see them. Guys, my, if anybody emails me, I literally have like 800 unread emails and it just, it gets overwhelming and I lose track of things and I honestly, it's one of the worst things. I don't stay on top of it. But she sent me calendar of good, 365 opportunities to remember good things, large and small. Look how pretty. Okay, and if you go to her website, um, freeperiodpress.com, wow, like I wish I thought of those things. First of all, there's a book, a vision board book. So instead of you getting magazines or something, it's a full book of photos and like quotes and such for you to cut out and put on your vision board. This is so cute. So what you do with this, so I'm going to start this in January, but January goodness. Every single day you write one, at least one good thing. I mean, really, there's only room for one thing. One good thing that happened that day. Wow. This is a good idea. It's so cute. I like the size of it. I think it's nine by nine. So perfect little square. And January, obviously we have all the months here, but let's like flip to April. There's some little tidbits here. June, okay. Yeah, this is so cute. Thank you so much, Laura. This is adorable. I'm so excited to use this starting in January. I will link this down below for y'all to check out because everything on that website is like my style of, of things. Like I love little stationary stuff, but would make really good gifts as well. So thank you. That did make my day, honestly. I can't use it yet though, where I could, but I'm gonna wait till January. Anywho, 
I have been trying trying to practice gratitude. I've been journaling. I, today I woke up and did yoga again. I meditated, journaled, I read. I've been listening to this book. Like I am trying, but I'm not gonna lie. This is hard. None of this has been easy. It's only gotten more difficult, and I just feel trapped by my thoughts. I feel trapped by my body, and I did, I just don't know how else to describe it than that. So I did take it easy at the gym. It's really frustrating. I wanted to like kill it at the gym this month, but I cannot, like my body is screaming, so. Good morning, y'all, and happy Friday. I figured I would start vlogging again today. I actually vlogged earlier this week, but barely got any footage, and then I just, I haven't felt well, so I stopped. Um, no guarantees that I'm gonna feel well to Dell, to Dell today but what typically has been happening this whole week is i feel fine up until lunchtime and then everything hurts but anyways it's about eight in the morning i woke up around 6 50 and it looks like i'm dressed up but i'm not actually i mean kind of but it's i'm wearing sweatpants so i'm gonna eat breakfast i have about an hour and a half until i need to leave going to be pet sitting for my mom. I've been doing that all week. And then I have my holistic doctor appointment, thank goodness. Even this vlog? I need to go. Oh my God. Great. Look like a fucking clown. Sick of it. I'm taking a banana. <laughs> You're already recording, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah. I'm off to the doctors. Wait, not kiss the <laughs> Kiss the lips. Mm. Love you. Love you. Bye guys. I'm still at the holistic doctor. It's like almost two o'clock. I've been here since before 11. Um, I'm getting pumped with antibiotics right now. I think this is Recephin, something like that, something with an R. And then I'm getting glutathione. Um, it's complicated, so I guess I'll explain it when I get home, but I'm hungry and my acupuncture appointment is supposed to be right now, but I, yeah, I called them and left a voicemail because I obviously won't make it. Good morning. It is Saturday. Are you dressed? Oh, I forgot you were even vlogging. Yeah, I need to. I'm not, I, yeah, the vlog. Ugh, the whole week I missed out on. Yesterday, after the clip I filmed, I ended up. I did end up being really late for my acupuncture appointment, but they let me come in at three and I was only there for like 25 minutes or so because I had to go pick up my low dose naltrexone, which I did get. Um, so I'll, I started that last night and we'll see how that goes. That's hopefully going to help. And I also picked up a month and a half of antibiotics, which is just wild. Uh, but it's deoxycycline. I don't think, did I, I don't, need, I don't even think I talked about it. I didn't talk about it. I told, I showed the IV, but apparently I have Lyme as well. Um, so that's why I was, maybe I did say it, that's why I was getting the antibiotic IV. Um, and I think I have to go, I think I have to go every week for four weeks. For Rosefin. In the, it's, it's an IV and then I'm taking this for a month and a half and then hopefully that should take care of the Lyme and the low dose naltrexin also would help with that and then I'm still hoping that Humira gets approved so I can go on that uh, honestly so yeah it was a long day I was I left the house at 9 30 a.m. yesterday I didn't get home until like 4 and that was just yeah very long day I had only eaten avocado toast and I had a banana but I was fine luckily and last night we watched the movie The Interview 
he's seen it before, Sebastian's seen it before, but I had never seen it. It was alright. I fell asleep for the end. Sorry. <laughs> now we're going to get breakfast at a place called Cultivate, and I will show you what I eat there. I wish that was vegan. Picked up a monster. Whoops. We're going to Best Buy. I have no clue why. Do y'all like loud keyboards? I do if they're mine. I don't want to hear it over a phone call. Click them, babe. I like clicky. That one. So cute. Guys, look how cute. I kind of want one. Exactly, but today's Sunday and 148 but obviously today well not obviously but um, time change was last night or overnight and I'm just I'm fine <sighs> my mouth is still irritated by the way so please just ignore uh, I think I'm gonna go on a walk right now it's a nice day out I think it's like 60 something and I'm just gonna yeah I need to get outside Sebastian left earlier today and um I've just kind of been chilling. I don't know. I just don't feel meh. I don't feel up to anything right now. But I think I'm going to go on a walk. Walk. No, no listening to anything. And then come back and hopefully um, feel more encouraged to do something. So I've deep cleaned my apartment. Looks beautiful. I still have some stuff going in the laundry. Clean my room, clean the bathroom. Gotta take the trash out still. And before all that, I started my dinner for the week, which is lentil dal. Um, right, I forgot to cook the rice, so this rice is cooking now. And then uh, I just made this fresh. This is the, oh, it's so good. Kite Hill almond milk yogurt the regular one not the one with protein and cucumbers and then salt and a bunch of pepper it's so good preferably pink salt now this week uh after everything that has happened i feel like i just need to give like a whole health update i don't because i don't even know what i've left out i guess it doesn't really matter but i am going to be cutting out gluten and soy for a couple of weeks and seeing how it affects me. That's pretty difficult as a vegan in regards to soy, but so far so good. Uh, well, like the meals that I chose for the week and the ingredients I bought are good. So this definitely probably is not gonna be something permanent because for example, I'm gonna eat stuff with gluten one day. Like I don't have a gluten intolerance, but right now my doctor said because I am inflamed and such like, just to give my body a break and to see how I feel. That's what we're trying. My beautiful dinner. 